A friend of mine asked if this image looked a little red, if the skin tones looked a little red or a little orange. And we were looking at it together and decided that it did need a little bit of um, a little less orange red in the skin. So one of the ways to do that, to adjust the tones, is to go to Hue and Saturation. And under Master, see right now, the Hue and Saturation for the entire image would be adjusted if you move things. But we're just going to adjust the reds. Now in order to see where the red tones are, we can just bump the saturation all the way up. And as you can see, all of this is very, very red. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide it. I'm going to slide it this way a little bit. Keep it keep it separate. So we can see everything that's turning yellow, those are your real those are the reds that need adjusting. Okay. Take that to zero. Now you see it looks kind of has a, a more of a yellowy look. And we can play with this slider and adjust those. See right there is very red. Right here is looking pretty good. Um, now we probably aren't going to want it this green or this yellow, but we're going to spot correct it, the tones. So right there, here's your before, here's your after, before, after, it looks a little yellow. We also don't want to downplay the brick or anything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to invert this mask and use our brush. I've got my opacity set at about 33%. That way we can do this gradually. We don't have to do it over the whole thing. We can just paint it on. Her ear, her neck, face. Right over here by the hands. You can see like the knuckles are reflecting a lot of the red from the brick. The skin tone. And if we stop for a second, we can look at our before and after. So we paint it on. You can click Alt and then click this to see exactly where you've painted it on. And do the same thing to undo it. So let's see. Here's our after. Here's our before. After. Before. After. So you just click this little eye over here. You're not seeing it. Now you're seeing it. The adjustments. And so uh, that's all there is to that. We can go ahead and... Control shift e or if you're on a Mac, Command shift e to compress those layers. And just for fun, we're going to go ahead and run um, a frequency separation action that I created some time ago. And we're going to do the low frequency to adjust the color tone of her neck. If you notice, her neck is darker and it's just a different tone than her face. And so we're going to adjust that a little bit. We're going to set our brush size smaller. We've still got it set at about 33%. And we're going to, on the low frequency layer, we're going to select this color of her skin tone. And we're just going to paint it right on over the top of this. Just to kind of even out that color a little bit. There we go. Let's zoom out a little. What's great about frequency separation is it doesn't mess with the texture. So the lines in her neck and the texture of her skin, it doesn't mess with any of that. It just, it just adjusts the color, the tone, the light, the dark. Okay, so we can um, look at this as a before and after as well. Before, after, before, after. Go ahead and compress those layers. Shift, Control, E. And that looks pretty good. Looks good to go. Radhika, this one is for you. We can look at our... Uh, we can make a snapshot right here and see our overall before and after. Here's the before, here's the after. The before and the after.